So are there any examples of outcomes-based models? Well, think of karate, karate instruction, military training, scuba diving, scouts in the older days, apprenticeships, etc. These are examples of OBE flight schools or any other area of learning where clearly defined competence and performance are essential to carry out the role effectively. How exactly is being outcomes-based different from what schools have always done before? When lists of characteristics describe how the traditional education system differs from an outcomes-based system, the main differences fall in four areas, and we will discuss those four areas. The first one, outcomes-based systems build everything on a clearly defined framework of exit outcomes. Curriculum, instructional strategies, assessments, and performance standards are developed and implemented to facilitate key outcomes. In OBE, curriculum, instruction, and assessment should be viewed as flexible and alterable means for accomplishing clearly defined learning ends. In contrast, traditional systems already have a largely predefined curriculum structure with an assessment and credentialing system in place. These usually are not structured around clearly defined outcomes uh, that's expected by all students. By and large, curriculum and assessment systems are treated as ends in themselves. Number two, Time in an outcomes-based system is used as an alterable resource, depending on the needs of the teachers and students. Within reasonable constraints, time is manipulated to the best advantage of all learners. Some students learn some parts of the curriculum sooner, while others accomplish these later. In traditional system, it's just the opposite. Time defines most system features. It is inflexible constraint for teachers and students. The schedule and the calendar control student learning and success. Three, in an outcomes-based system, standards are clearly defined, they known and criterion based for all students. As in karate, for example, all students potentially are eligible to reach and receive full credit for achieving any performance standard in the system. There are no quotas on who can be successful or what standards can be pursued. In contrast, the traditional system operates around a comparative slash competitive approach to standards linked to a predetermined curve or quota of possible successes. Only some students are destined to do well and only some get access to the most challenging areas of the curriculum. This process of sorting and selecting begins very early in the school years and evolves into an inflexible system of curriculum trapping in the high school section. And number four, outcomes-based systems focus on increasing student learning and ultimately performance abilities to the highest possible levels before they leave school, for example. In other words, OBE schools take a macro view of student learning and achievement. Mistakes are treated as inevitable steps along the way to having the students develop, internalize, and demonstrate high levels of performance capability. Working to continuously improve student learning before graduation, outcomes-based systems define student achievement as the highest level of performance a student has been able to reach at any given point in time. Ultimate school achievement is directly reflected in what students can do successfully at or after their formal instruction experiences have ended. The current system takes quite the opposite approach, testing and permanently grading students every step of the way on all segments of the curriculum. All mistakes become part of a permanent record, which accumulates and constantly reminds students of past errors. The system emphasizes and rewards students for how they do assigned work at a time it is initially covered in class. Those who are fast and consistent performance emerge with the best grades and records. Those that are slower never get the opportunity to truly catch up because their records of earlier mistakes can't be erased. But what is almost never assessed or documented 
is what either kind of student ultimately can do successfully to match this accumulation of grades.